A Breck man faces murder charges for allegedly stabbing a co-worker. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. An employee scuffle at Beaver Run Resort turned violent this morning when one man allegedly stabbed another with a knife. Chief of Police, Jim Baird. The initial information we got was that one of the parties had been stabbed um, and he was actually being treated by some ski patrol uh, that happened to be in the area. The alleged stabbing happened at Copper Top Cafe around 9.45 a.m. when a 38-year-old attacked a 40-year-old co-worker. We're not releasing any of the specifics right now because we haven't really verified a lot of the information given, but we do we do believe we have a decent understanding of what occurred. Both men were taken to St. Anthony's in Frisco, where the suspect was treated and booked into Summit County Jail on charges of attempted murder and felony menacing. As for the victim... Last we knew, he was scheduled to be transported down to a hospital on the front range just for some additional care. Baird applauds Ski Patrol and others for fast action when that fight broke out. There was a lot of bystanders in the area and other employees that helped they actually strain the parties until we arrived and ski patrol and some other Vale and Beaver run employees were kind of instrumental in containing the incident until my officers could get there. A third co-worker who reportedly tried to break up the fight and suffered knife wounds himself was treated and released from Breck Medical Center. The Board of County Commissioners is split on a local minimum wage higher than the state minimum of $12 per hour. At today's board meeting, Commissioner Thomas Davidson agreed with staff recommendation supporting an increase of $0.75 cents per year beginning next year for a $15 minimum by 2024. And one of the things that is always thrown up when people try to oppose minimum wage increases is, oh my gosh, people will lose jobs. Well, my goodness, right now we have got a painfully low unemployment rate. But town councils and employers are pushing back. Breck and Silverthorne oppose a higher wage without more info, while several business owners said free market should determine wages, not elected officials. Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence does not want a higher wage until every town is on board, leaving Karn Stiegelmeyer in the middle. Staff is drafting a resolution now. Commissioners most likely vote in early February. No conversation is harder than the one that might save a life, but chatting up strangers on a chairlift is easy. We call it the funnest mental health training that you'll be a part of. That was Joshua Stock of the Secret Spot Team Challenge, a mental health workshop disguised as an on-mountain scavenger hunt where skiers and riders get the tools they need for suicide prevention and awareness. They get to be outside, they get to be moving, they get to be active. You know, some of the mental health courses we've taken are you sit in a classroom for 12 hours. The challenge is simple. Up to 50 teams scour the slopes for clues. Once discovered, they complete one of seven training challenges as a team and then ski to the next one. Co-founder Nick Sackman says feedback from last year's debut event was immediate and inspiring. He'd mentioned that because of the education that each team went through, it was likely that we saved someone's life. Teams are vying to raise $50,000 and proceeds support Colorado mental health nonprofits. Register your team and raise cash at GoFundMe.com by searching Secret Spot Team Challenge. That happens this Saturday at Copper. This week is the debut of Play Forever Fridays at Copper, another easy way to hit the slopes and support local nonprofits. On select Fridays this season, Copper donates $5 of every $99 online ticket to one of several Summit nonprofits, part of a company-wide initiative. If you've got friends or family in town, tell them to buy their tickets online prior to Friday morning. Cash goes straight to CAIC, Friends of the Dillon Ranger District, HC3, The FERC, and more. In sports, the Avalanche play the Rangers today at 530. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, at least four Summit County athletes are on their way to Lausanne, Switzerland for the 2020 Youth Olympics. Ski mountaineering racers Jeremiah Vale and Grace Stayberg represent the U.S. Skimo team for the first time ever. Twin brothers Kiernan and Devin Fagan compete in ski slope style. Opening ceremony at Lausanne is this Thursday and will have live results most mornings. Stay tuned. This morning was race five of the A Basin Rise and Shine Rando Series, where Rory Kelly was top men's finisher and Jill Seeger was top lady. Jason Kilgore, David Glennon, Nikki LaRochelle, and Tara Richardson round out the podiums. Next race in the series is Tuesday, January 21st. Summit High Girls Basketball plays D. Evelyn on the front range today, and the Breckenridge Vipers play a rare midweek game today when they host New York Fire at Stephen C. West Ice Arena in Breck. Puck drop is 7.30. Get your tickets at the door. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.